Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my favorites video for July and August of 2019. If you haven't seen any of my favorites videos before, first of all, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards if you want to watch them. I have them going back about a year, year and a half or so, and recently, for the past year, I like to do these videos every two or three months, just because I don't want this to be a place where I'm like grabbing and trying to find products that are good enough for a favorites video. I want these to be like actual tried and true favorites, so that's why these videos aren't as often as some of the YouTubers who do them like monthly. So I have six products here, it's mostly makeup, but they're all products that I've been using for quite some time. I've panned a couple of times or I've hit pan on, so let's jump right in. The first product is a concealer, and I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but it's still, it's been like my non-stop go-to concealer for the past few weeks, and it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I have the shade Light Pale and Ivory. Ivory is a closer shade match for me right now, but I am trying to hurry up and use up Light Pale since it's mostly gone. Um, I really liked taking off the sponge and just using a brush to apply this. It works so much better. I personally like it that way a lot more. These are really affordable and they're totally sweat proof and they don't dry out my under eyes. So I am wearing this today. I've been wearing it nonstop since it started getting hot enough to sweat because I do have a lot of Holy Grail concealers but this is the only one I can really wear in the summer because a lot of those other concealers, while they look great in every other season, if I start to sweat, they'll break down because I do start to sweat from like right here, which is kind of gross, but that's how it works. It's either my upper lip or it's right here. And this is the only concealer that holds up to that. So honestly, it's great. I would highly recommend trying this out, testing it out if you have issues with concealers holding up uh, under like sweat or oil. The next product that's a favorite is a face powder that I actually purchased not too long ago. I think it was a month and a half ago, but I have been using it a lot and I've hit pan on it. This is from Shop Miss A, the website, and this is their store brand, the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder. I have the shade Ivory and I've hit a lot of pan on this. This is only a dollar. This is actually such a good face powder. It is pretty thick. It's thicker than like your average like setting powder, but I found that if I set my foundation with this and then do my normal face powder routine and then spray this with a setting spray, it looks gorgeous and it holds up so well. I've had, like I've mentioned, I've had issues with products not holding up under like sweat and everything. This works so well and it's a dollar. I think right now the only critique I have is that I did hit pan on this pretty fast. But then again, I've been using this every day if, almost since I got it. So a month, month and a half, almost two months of daily use for a dollar. That, that's pretty damn good to me. So uh, I'm going to keep using this. I do want to do a follow-up video to that AOA or the Shop Miss A haul that I did, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail there. But this has been one of these standout products. I, I gotta double check their shade range. I don't think they have the best shade range, which is really disappointing because honestly, I think so many people could get such great use out of this, especially because it's a powder, which if you use powder, odds are using it every day. And like, it's nice to find like cheap repurchasable products that are so cheap. Ugh. Honestly, there are so many good hidden gems on like Shop Miss A. The next favorite is actually another <laughs> face powder that I did hit pan on. This one is from Milani and I gotta say this is a bit different. This is their face powder. This is a lot uh, thinner of a face powder than the Shop Miss A one and this one actually, so this is a dark for me. So this is the shade Light Tan. Uh, I think once upon a time this used to match me. Now this is like a light bronzer <laughs> for me. It's too dark to be a face powder, but it's almost too light to be a full bronzer. But it still looks pretty and it still works. So I've been able to hit pan just by, after using my regular face powder, I take this just on the perimeter like I would a bronzer. <laughs> and it just holds up really well. Again, it holds up really well to sweat, to um, heat, to everything. I just have to use it on the perimeters because it's a little bit too dark for me. <laughs> And I've still been using it and actually I really like this. I really like the formula I will probably repurchase this in a lighter shade because this is shade number four So it is just dark on me. I'll probably have to get like shade one Or two we'll see what the undertones look like But it is a good powder and it has lasted me a long time My next favorite is actually a deep potted highlighter that I can't stop using Surprisingly and I actually didn't like reach for this before I depotted this 
This is from Kylie Cosmetics, and this is one of her Kyliters. This is the Kyliter in French Vanilla, and I've literally been wearing this almost every day. It's gotten to the point where I'm about to start my project to where I'm going to be panning a highlighter. I have to put this away because I keep reaching for this. I love this. I've actually worn down completely the design on one side, and I think I'm going to hit pan soon-ish. I don't know, there's a lot of product in here, but it's such a great light gold champagne shade and it blends out so beautifully. I use it on my inner corner highlight. I use it on my Cupid's, Cupid's, Cupid's bow. I just, oh, it looks so pretty and it lasts all day and it's bright. You can build this up to blinding. I personally like to put it on and then blend it out because it just, it blends out so nicely. Ah, I'm shocked and I'm so glad I depotted this because I used to have this bulky annoying packaging and I never touched it and then I depotted it put it in the Z palette that I reach for in the mornings and now I can't stop using it so honestly this is so good I would recommend just checking out the um highlighters at Ulta because they are held at Ulta now and you can get those Ulta points I have not tested out the bronzers or the blushes from Kylie so I cannot attest to those but these the highlighter is really good my next favorite is from Stila and these are the glitter and glows from the white lies collection Unfortunately, this is being discontinued. I don't know if they're still available on the website. I know they're available at like TJ Maxx and like Marshalls. I got these for $9 each, which was a steal because these are incredible. They're the same great formula as the rest of the glitter and glows that I love. And they're just nice bright shades that just look so pretty. So I got the green, the yellow, and the peach. And these are just so good. Again, I had to put these away in my collection because I was using them so often but they're so good, especially if you can get them for $9. That was a steal. So this is just affirming my love for Stila Glitter and Glows. I do think the 24 for them, while I'm willing to pay it, I think it's a bit much. So if you can get these on sale, please do. All right, and my last product, it's not actually a makeup product. Uh, it's a nail product that I've also been using nonstop since I've gotten it. And this is the Hollow Taco Nail Polish. Of course, I filmed this on a day where my, my uh, I haven't done my nails in a few weeks. But that being said, this is the only polish that I've been able to wear where it lasts weeks and doesn't chip. I've been able to grow my nails out long. I had some pretty pictures with my long nails. Unfortunately, this one nail snapped on me and I had to cut down my nails to little nubbins but the nail polish still looks great and I love a good black polish and this is exactly what the name states it is a one coat black for those of us that like wearing black and like having black polish this is a must my favorite of the hollow I did get the full set when it first came out but my favorites of the hollow actual tacos is the flaky taco it looks so pretty and this looks pretty in the light outside of the light because outside of the light it looks like a nice little glitter in the light you've got the rainbows i've literally just been wearing like these non-stop since i've gotten it i've tested out the other tacos and while they look cute i like the flaky one better that being said i actually haven't tried out the blue polish yet i did get the blue polish but i just prefer black i don't know when i'll try the blue i might use the blue on my toenails we'll see how that goes but i have to say these i think individually they're 13 bucks i would 100 percent pay that for this i think it's really worth it and as someone who's been testing out polishes and who isn't really good at doing her nails and chips nails very easily this is a godsend it is so good and honestly like i wish i'd gone it sooner i wish it had come out sooner like it's so good so those are my recent favorites let me know down below what your recent favorites have been for july and august and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye